Hi guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp, and today I'm going to show you how to install the control horn on your horizontal stab of your vertigo. Um, these control horns are G10 fiberglass, and they, they're sort of unique, and they, they mount in a, in a little unique way. And um, they're part of the uh, uh, quick connect system uh, on the elevator for the vertigo. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to do it step by step. It's pretty simple but I'll give you the uh, details. So first off, there's a hook here that basically grabs onto this thin part of the, of the elevator. And then there's a slot which uh, goes into this little U-bent um, piece of, uh, of wire. So the slot um, goes over that piece of wire and the wire moves um, back and forth and that's what makes your elevator work. So let's get to it. Let's uh, set this up and, and get one of these mounted on, on an elevator. Okay, so first off, this is the bottom side of the elevator. The elevator is not uh, symmetrical or it does not have a symmetrical airfoil. It has a semi-symmetrical airfoil. So there is a top and a bottom. So the hinge side is the bottom and the open side here is the top so that's that's important keep that in mind this is how the elevator is supposed to sit or the control horn is supposed to sit now the first thing I'll say is make sure that the um, horn sits all the way up against the elevator if there's any gap here you might take a, a file or some sandpaper to the elevator to make sure that the back of the, the, the slot, the back of the slot of the horn is all the way up against the elevator. You don't want to see any daylight. This fits good um, right, out of the, right out of the box, so no work needed there. Okay, the first step is you're going to want to scuff up this area of the elevator, top and bottom, you know, like wrapped around the um, moving part of the elevator. And you're also going to want to thoroughly scuff up this portion of the horn. Use some gritty sandpaper, like 150 to 80 grit sandpaper on both pieces. So that's the first step. Okay, so I've um, thoroughly scuffed up the um, bonding surfaces on the elevator and on the uh, control horns. And I used 80 grit sandpaper, and then after that I actually used an X-Acto knife and just sort of scraped away a little bit too to make some deeper ridges. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is protect the hinge line from any epoxy or glue that might um, find its way in there. So what we're going to do is use some kind of wax mold release. Uh, you could even use like petroleum jelly or Vaseline or something like that. I'm using some um, Pardol uh, mold release wax. But again, you can use your Carnuba car wax, uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever you happen to have. So what we'll do is we'll just get a little bit of our wax. And then we're going to just kind of push some into the hinge line. I have a Q-tip here. And we'll just push it into the hinge line like this, just to protect the hinge line. Flip it over and rub a little bit right there on that part of the hinge line. And now since uh, I probably should have done the wax first and then sanded, but since I have a little bit of wax on here, I'm going to go ahead and sort of scuff up this area to get again to make sure I don't have any wax um, on the bonding surface. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see, I have my wax uh, in the hinge lines. 
on both my elevators. And the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, decontaminate and degrease um, the areas that you're going to glue. So I, I have right here just some regular rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And I just poured some into the top here. I'm just going to get some of this alcohol and just thoroughly clean off all the areas that you're going to apply uh, glue to and make sure you do the um, control horns too right so I'll do that and then we'll move on to the next step okay so it's time to actually glue the horn on and what you're gonna want to do is use the uh, 3d printed jig that's supplied with the kit and um, you could use the uh, vertical to um, align everything with the jig, but I find it's easier just to use some 3mm screws. So find some 3mm screws or rod or carbon rod or whatever you have laying around and just run them through the holes. There's no need to clamp it down or anything or, or tighten it up with nuts. So I just have some screws in here. And again, this is the, uh, the hinge side is the bottom side, so the horn is going to be sticking up from here. So all you do now is just simply uh, slip the horn on to the elevator and this jig is going to make sure it's perfectly perpendicular, right? So it's not bent one way or the other. So we'll, we'll put the uh, horn on and then we're going to move on to uh, applying uh, the epoxy. This is what it should look like with your horn on. Um, this jig just keeps the horn perpendicular. And again, you want to make sure that there's no gap around that horn anywhere, that it's pushed all the way up against the elevator. Now, what I'm going to do to make this a little easier on myself is I, with it in the jig, I'm going to put one drop of medium CA, not thin because I don't want it to run everywhere, just one drop of medium CA uh, just to basically tack this horn in place. Uh, while I put the epoxy on there. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I've used a very small drop of a medium CA to tack the um, horn onto the elevator. And I basically put it on the back side of the horn. Again, don't use a lot of CA, just use a tiny drop just to tack it in place. You don't want it to run everywhere. You want to make sure you have nice, clean, bare surfaces for the epoxy to bond to. And now I can actually remove this jig because I don't really need it anymore. And you can see I'm doing two here and they're both uh, tacked in place nicely. And now I can move on to um, uh, mixing up some, some epoxy and permanently mounting these. Okay, you're going to want to use a very high quality epoxy. Ideally, I would recommend uh, MGS. I don't have any on hand. Um, but use a very slow curing 2-3 hour epoxy. Um, West Systems, MGS, or whatever you have that's uh, long, uh, slow curing. Don't use 5 minute or 15 minute or 30 minute or even an hour or anything like that. I'm using some z -poxy finishing resin. I've had very good luck with this. It's easy to work with. Uh, it's got about a, uh, I'd say, 3 hour cure time till fairly hard, um, 24 hours at least till fully cured. And then I have a little bit of cabosil or aerosil that I'm going to mix in, not too much, just to thicken it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to use a little piece of wire um, that's sort of pointy in one end to apply um, the, the epoxy. That way I can be very precise with it and make a nice fillet. So I'll mix up some of this epoxy and, uh, and apply it, and then, and then we're basically done. It's not too difficult. Here's my mix. Uh, of epoxy with the uh, cabosil in it and you can see it's still um, fairly wet it doesn't have a lot of cabosil maybe 10% by uh, volume it's still shiny and almost runny don't put too much cabosil in it you're gonna um, um, degrade the strength of the epoxy so when you're done with the epoxy you should have a nice fillet going all the way around the control horn like this. That's how it should look. And we'll just set this aside to cure and we'll come back to it. So I've let the epoxy cure for about 24 hours 
and this thing is on there really strong. And um, really quick, I'll show you how the uh, elevator and rudder um, assemble onto the boom. Okay, so we have our elevator and our rudder. And this thing goes together really easily. First thing you do is just insert the rudder through the elevator. Like so. It's a very good fit. And then the next thing you're going to do is install this assembly onto the boom. In here we have a uh, metal rod that uh, slides into the control horn on the elevator. So when you put it together, you just want to make sure that you line the horn up with that with that uh, rod. Okay, so the elevator is now attached to the uh, push rod in the fuselage and I will go down on the other end and move the push rod and you guys can see how the elevator works. The Vertigo has a very easy tail assembly to, to put together at the field, and um, it's a, a really great feature of this model. All right, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.